She must be from outer space. I never seen this bitch before. What's good, YouTube, man? We back with another 2K24 video, man. I know I said I was going to do one video, man, before I uh before 2K24 came out, man. We would have got some crazy news, man. So make sure y'all hit that like, that subscribe button on this video, man. But I'm about to watch this little pro, this pro play video right here. Man, we got some uh, official gameplay. It's not like, you know, of, of my career or nothing like that. It's just of, of the quick game. So we about to watch this and see what they talking about on here. Y'all just seen how Giannis just bullied him like that, bro. That if, if bully badges in the game and that, and that animation looking like that, bro, that's gonna be crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's gonna be crazy. I, I hate that shit, bro. I don't want to. I don't. Bro. What type of? <laughs> I see somebody react to this on uh, on TikTok, bro. I think it was, it was grinding for Rio, bro. <laughs> he he talked. What kind of slow animation was that? <laughs> he was mad as hell when he seen this. <laughs> that was the slow ass animation, bro. He talking what in the sim nation? Curry getting kind of drippy though. Hey, that runaway was fire though. Curry runaway was hard, bro. Right? Look, look, bro, they, they, bro, if they don't nerf it, bro, bands, bro, bro, I'm watching this trailer, brands. I'm, I'm watching the pro play trailer, bro. They got Gianna Street dunking on everybody. You already know how I feel about that dunking shit, bro. They bet not let niggas get on this 2K20 post dunking, but he just did a little strip though, bands. I ain't never seen that. I, I think defense about to be crazy this year, bands. Like lockdowns always tough, but bro, I think they finna be crazy this year, bro. Like, I just seen that nigga do a strip. Like, a nigga was trying to go up for a layup. He stripped that bitch out of his hand. Like, knee a layup. Okay, nice little Euro. Hey, come on. Hey, this bitch might be saucy, man. Like, Okay. Okay. All right. I wanna, I, and they got, they got a lot of uh, things up here that, that you know, uh, new animations, uh, they got new jump shot animations, new dunk animation, new layup animation, new dribble, new pass animation, and signature movement on offense and defense. So basically what that means, Bans, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody, you know, this, this, this YouTube too, Bans, everybody already know, like, the jump shot, the dunks, you know, they, all, they we already know that they always put that type of shit in the game, bro. But signature movement on offense and defense they got some little, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if it's sweet or not, bro, but they got like, you know how you do triple threats and shit, how Michael Jordan used to do like little triple threats, they got it to now where you could do like, like some funny shit, bro, while you doing triple threats and shit, like they had a nigga like dancing, like getting jiggy doing a triple threat, like on some like, you know how, you know how Onk Baby, you know, you, you, you outside hooping and Onk Baby try to triple threat you and he do some little, ah, you feel what I'm saying? Some little shit like that, you feel me? They got some new little shit like that in the game, bro. But um, let me see what they talking about shot timing, bro. Let me talk about shot timing. Okay, so it say um, it say players who play on 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 Hall of Fame difficulty in the in the rec or in the city will be playing with green or green or miss shot timing. So they got that back in the game to where um, you know, you either green or you miss uh, in the. But what, I don't know exactly what that mean though. I hope that like people don't be out here hitting no whites, bro. Type shit, yeah, like. Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. Hope not. But 
They say the shot time and release timer from two, from 2K23 has been converted to new settings called shot time and visual cue now instead of time based. So you can set your desired release point on a certain animation cue like the jump shot or set shot or shot release. This make it much easier to play with players and teams you're not familiar with. I don't know how I feel about that, bro. Uh, I guess it, it, it. I guess it's converted to a new setting. So, I, I guess that's like you know when you go into like the settings and you put your shot cue on very early, very late, and things like that. I got it. Guess now they got it to visual cue. So, I guess that that might be better than shot time. And I didn't really like the shot time and stuff at all, bro. Like I feel like it was it was pointless. They should have just kept it how it was. So visual cue might be more better because it might be a visual thing, like where you see your jump shot point at. That's what that when I think about that, that's what I realize when I think about is where where you see your jump shot like releasing that. We don't care about layup time, and we're not trying to lay the ball up. This is what I want to hear. Okay, Duncan. Let's let's see what they say for Duncan, bro. For, for dunkers on new gen consoles, you can now force controllable rim hangs from any two hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Okay, that's that's the same thing as 2K23, I believe. Uh, you know, you you keep holding the dunk stick and you just hold the rim and you keep dunking the rim. Um, I want to hear about uh, the dunk stick though, the dunk meter. Okay, um, it say down on the down on a pro stick. Okay, it's the same thing. Down on the pro stick, hang on the rim. Where is contact dunk for dunk stick? Okay, it say it say you attempt to contact dunks in traffic with the dunk meter. Dunk meters are green or miss. Oh, let's go, Jesus, Jesus. But wait, hold on, Benz. Hold on, Benz. It say dunk meters are green or miss on higher difficulty levels. So now you have to be precision, precise to finish off the play. Let's freaking go, bands. Let's freaking go, bro. Let's freaking go, bro. I'm so happy about that, bands. Because look, bro. Like, bands, you know how on 2K23, bro, them niggas was doing this, bro. Them niggas, them niggas, bro, niggas on 2K23 was dunk yamming the ball. They was yamming the ball, not even greening it, bro. But they wasn't even greening it, bro. I was so upset about that, bro. I'm I'm so happy that they made it green or miss, bro. If you don't green the dunk stick, you're missing, bro. Thank you, Jesus, bro. And I hope it's harder to do it. I hope it's harder to, to the point it get to niggas like, I'm not about to be doing no dunk stick. Like, I, wanted to, I want niggas to be like, bro, I'm not doing that dunk stick, bro. All right, uh, paint. Let's let, paint. Paint play. Let's say paint play. Let's see what they talking about. I mean, but I think this is offense though. I don't want to hear about like like offense of scoring in the paint. I want to hear about like defense. But let me let me let me see what Mike Wayne got to talk about with dribble and breakdown. Let me let me hear about this. Hold on. Let me let me hear about this. I gotta hear about this. Cause I'm I'm a fan of dribbling when it comes to kids. Let me see what they're talking about. Shooting has been customized and improved for all various modes, difficulties, and player skill levels. But in order to get high percentage shots, you need to know how to create separation off the dribble. One of my favorite elements in NBA 2K... Oh, that's perfect. I done heard something I like to hear, Bans. He say, right, Bans? He say, he say, now you have to really know how to get open for the... Sh they always say that, though, don't they, Bans? <laughs> don't they always say that? I don't know if I want to believe that, chat. I don't know if I want to believe that, bro. They always say that, bro. They always say that. In order to really get your shot off, you got to really know how to dribble. Hopefully, that's a fact, though. Hopefully, it get real shifty out there in that field. So, you got to really get shifty, bro, to really okay, get your shot off. Dribble breakdowns. Let me see what I'm talking Each about. Each player has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick. And aggressive breakdowns are done by flicking up with sprint held. This will initiate a sequence of signature size up moves that you can use to create separation with on their own or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other double move combo. This year features all new signature double crosses, hezi crosses, and escape moves. Another major addition. This is about to be hard, man. This is about to be hard, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready for next month, bro. This shit about to, that's, that's about to be hard, bro. He, he talking. He talking something I like to hear, bro. I, 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 I like what he's saying, bro. He talking some for me. For me being a dribbler, bro. What he's saying it sound like. From what I heard, y'all, they took a drilling bars out. The drilling bars are still in the game, but it works differently now. It don't go off how many times you're dribbling the ball that you lose a drilling. 
it goes off of how many times you get bumped. And a player, like as, a, as another player bumping to you, that's what your drilling bars go off of. So it's more of you could dribble good depending on the defender. You see what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. That's that's comfy. That's comfy. You feel me? And they saying, right, by a drilling bars being gone, let me go back to what he just said. You can branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other double move combo. This year features all new signature double crosses, hezzy crosses, and escape moves. So double crosses, hezzy crosses, escape moves. It, it, bro. If this game have a lot of dribble, different animations, bro, it's fire, bro. Another major it's fire is bro. the blowout dribble. Tapping the blowout dribble while moving will give you a quick burst of speed, where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. Oh, they got speed boosts. He said it. He said it. Speed boost is confirmed, bro. He, speed boost is confirmed. I need that. Speed the I need that. Dribble. Tapping the sprint. Tri Tapping the spit, tapping the sprint trigger will have you boost out of a drill move, kind of like how Michael Jordan was in, in 2K23. How people used to just sprint to the side every time. No, now you have to really tap R2 to get that sprint move that you want to do. And hopefully, dribble styles is not in a game no more. You don't dribble to the side. Just I hope. Yeah, I don't like dribble styles. Yeah, I hope dribble styles is out the game now. So. Hopefully it is, man. Like, let's see, let's see what he keeps saying, though. While moving will give you a quick burst of speed, where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. So he said, when you tap R two while you dribbling, it it he you, the player throw the ball out to like run fast to the side, kind of how Michael Jordan was, but people use that as an exploit, like cause like it, it wasn't really like nothing. Like, so basically, what he's saying, y'all, without tapping the R two right bands, without tapping the R two and running to the side, bro. You won't get that Michael Jordan animation. Basically, what he's saying. On 2K23, you're getting that animation every time you run to the side with the ball. So you can't just run to the side and think you're going to run to the side fast without tapping R2 first. Or hopefully, it's a combination of how you could do it. In let's let's court, keep going. Tapping sprint will give you a quick change of pace to quickly blow by defenders. Mm -hmm. Adrenaline boosts are back, but have been redesigned. Okay, this is what I want to hear. This is what I want to hear, Bans. Adrenaline boost is back. It's back in the game. Let's see what you say about it. Offense though. and defense more skill based. Okay, it's back in the game, but it's made different to make offensive and defensive more skilled in the game. Let me hear. On offense, boosts are no longer lost when pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances. Okay, thank you, Jesus. That's all I want to hear. Mike Wayne, thank you. Bruh, drilling boost no longer drops. Based off of how many combinations you do with the ball or running from a short distance. 2K23, if you know, if you just hold R2 and run to the side, soon as you dash off, you don't even run that much. Soon as you take off to the side, R2, it's gone. That's out the game. <laughs> Shout out to 2K, man. Shout out to 2K, man. Need to hear that. This gives dribblers yes, much more freedom to create. Much perfectly said. This gives dribble dribblers, dribblers. AKA trends more freedom to do what they need to do. But off the, with will the ball. disappear every time the on-ball defender can bump the ball handler on a drive attempt. Okay, it only drops down. All right, Vance. Right, it only the, the the drilling bar only drops down when you get bumped running to the basket. So if you dribbling and you try to run to the side of me and I bump you. You're losing the adrenaline. And if you take that layup, that's a contested layup. Nine times out of ten, you ain't making it. So if you know it's a contested layup, you're like, hold on, let me reset. And you try to go back and reset your drill moves. Now, if I bump you again, you at two. You know what I'm saying? You got three chances. If I bump you three times, you got three chances. That's perfect. I like that. Losing I like that. Won't feel like moving in you got to really cross me up. You got to really cross me up and get past me for, for you to really not, you feel what I'm saying, to not use that adrenaline bar. Like perfect. Last year. But it will heavily Perfect. impact shooting attributes. So Wait, what do he say? What do he say? Like moving the on what do he say? Defender can bump the ball handler on a drive attempt. Losing adrenaline won't feel like moving in mud like last year. But it oh, bands, bands. He said it, bands. Oh, this is all I need to hear, bro. I'm already in the YouTube video right here, bro. Bands, when you lose adrenaline bars, it don't feel like you moving in mud with the ball no more, like 2K23. Oh my guys. Oh my god. Oh will god. heavily impact shooting attributes. Only thing it will do is impact your shooting attributes. Perfect. So if a good defender can bump the dribbler two or three times in a single possession, they'll have a really tough time scoring if they do manage to get free. Oh, and they made it so oh they're drippy. So right, Vance, if 
if the defender bumps the dribbler two or three times, it will make it harder for them to score the ball. But it won't like 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 your attributes will suffer. Basically, your attributes will suffer. But it wouldn't make it. It wouldn't slow you down. You would lose more stamina. You wouldn't play crazy or nothing like that. Creating your own shot off the dribble isn't the only way to get good shots. Knowing how to operate away from the ball is just as important. NBA 2K24 features new right analog stick jukes and other quick explosive moves to free yourself up for a shot. Right. Tapping the spring trigger will also give you a huge burst of speed to find open spots on the floor for spot up jumpers or easy. Hey, I'm finna be jump. saucy, bro. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. That was lit. That was lit. That's what I need to hear. That's exactly what I need to hear about that dribbling, bro. Hello, skill based defense. See what they're talking about. Defensive movement has improved on many fronts with better responsiveness and less sliding. Less sliding is, bro. They need needed to, to hear that, bro. And with the improved body up system, ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders. The improved contact can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing tough shots. Directional okay. steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. You can also use directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking okay. the right stick in the correct direction. That's a W, Bans? Bro, Bans, we needed this, Bans, bro. Bro, this is our year, bro. Listen, so now... When you're trying to get a passing lane steal, you know how I used to just make you not go where the ball is going? Now you can use the, the dribble stick, the one that you dribble the ball with. If you flick the dribble stick towards the right direction, towards the ball where the ball is getting thrown to, you go hit that bit. Perfect. Needed get to your hear hand that. in the way and deflect the pass. Needed to hear that. And when it comes to contesting shots, it's important to be patient and wait for the correct time to jump. Perfect. Okay, I, I ain't gonna lie. Me personally, I always like the next gen defense. I feel like the, the defense was always good. Like the contest defense. So what he's saying is with the contest system, with the uh shot contest, like in the paint, when somebody try to lay the ball up on you, it has to be it's about timing now. It's about timing. So if you jump and they didn't go up yet, and then you don't and you if you it's about timing. When you try to block their shot in the paint, it's about timing and the contest is about Contesting their timing, so you got to be patient with you know how you time the block or the contest. When it comes I like to contesting that. shots. I like that. It's important to be patient. And I like wait that. For the correct time to jump. Wait for the correct time if to jump. That's how it should be. Jumping too early, biting on fakes, or closing out late, you'll quickly find yourself racking up fouls and giving up and one opportunities. Okay. Everything about offense. Defense and coaching has been hey, this about to be to tough, bro. Well, basically, what he was just saying, bands, bro, even with like shot contests at the three, if you try to like contest somebody's shot at the wrong time, nine times out of I ain't gonna say nine times out of ten, but it's a, it's a, it's a high chance that it's gonna be an and one. If you jump at somebody at the three point line and they didn't shoot the ball yet, nine times like it's about it's about timing when it comes to the defensive contest. So you can't just get the spam and square just because you think somebody about to shoot at that time. It's about actually being patient with the with the timing, bro. I, I fuck with 24, that. Bro. More enjoyable for that, bro. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. I fuck with that, bro. Okay, okay, we about to see what this about. Which other one do I? Okay, now I really don't need to read none of this. Okay, I do want to hear about the takeover, bro. I want to hear about the takeover, bro. I want to hear about the takeover. I heard they changed the takeover two bands. It ain't how it used to be no more. But takeover perks is still in the game. But they took out the OP ones, bro. So I think acceleration perk gonna be gone. <laughs> Turn me up, man. Turn me up, man. Let's see what they saying. This is this is the takeover. Let's see what he's saying about the takeover, man. Let's see what he's saying. It ain't that long, so it might he might not be like. Takeover returns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Okay. Instead of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. How this finna work though, Bans? So now, Bans, the takeover don't go off your builder no more. So you know how you usually like 
put your takeover on your bill, now you could get every takeover. But you get every takeover in the game, and they all you also can use the takeover for your physicals too, like for your speed and your strength and stuff like that. But so, but it doesn't go off of your your builder. I don't. It don't go off of your builder. You feel me? So I'm trying to figure out how that's gonna work. But he said you can get every. I don't know if he said like you. I don't know like how he's trying to like say it. He's trying to say. I guess he's saying like you can get every takeover. But you you only get one takeover once you fill your takeover meter. You get one takeover, but you can choose like it, it upgrades all your like all you know. Of course, what it does like. But, hold on, let me, let me listen to what he said one more time. Let me listen to how he's trying to say this one more time. This kind of crazy, bro. Hold on. TakeOver returns to NBA 2K24, but with okay. a different spin. Okay. Instead of assigning the TakeOver ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. So you could choose a, uh, uh, okay, oh, okay, hold on, I'm trying to get it, I'm process. trying to get it. Now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. Okay, he says you could get a boost. It's more like a boost. It's not really like a takeover, like how it used to be. It's more like you get a boost in a category on the fly. So I'm guessing that means what? Like as you plan, as you build in a takeover meter, you get to choose sharp take for your first take. And it just boosts all of your shooting attributes instead of like making you like super OP, like how sharp take usually do. That's what I'm thinking. So they might above takeover, y'all. So don't think you about to just put sharp takeover on a 6-9 on a with a, with a 73, and you just going to be going crazy. Just shooting just because you got sharp take. No, now it just boosts your attributes a little. Like, it just boosts your attributes. And now it, you can choose between physicals, and you still get double takeover. The game does have double takeover. So if you boost two, you get to choose, like, you know, what attributes you want. So it boosts attributes. When now. you fill up the takeover okay. meter, you can it's choose more like that. finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the floor. Okay, that's valid. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic okay, gameplay valid. in NBA 2K24. Okay, we're we done with the we done with the videos. We done with the videos now. I want to go actually talk about uh, the tweet. We kind of know everything already just based off the videos, but I kind of want to talk about some of these tweets right here. Yeah, plug end up asking uh, Mike Wayne, does shooting have a per green window in 2K24 like 2K19? If you had a certain rating plus jump shot timing, uh, wait, what did he say? He said if you had a certain rating plus jump shot timing the shot shot meter right means it's always green if open. Please, please. Let's see what let, let, let's see what Mike Wayne say. Hey, basketball. That was a W statement right there, though. Basketball. That was a W statement. If you have a certain rating, so if you have an eighty or a ninety rating, and you have a good jump shot, and you have and the timing shot is always right, you always timing it right. I'm guessing that means how you know how sometimes on two K twenty three, two K twenty two, how your jump shot meter changes from different timings. I think. You will always have one timing now instead of multiple timings. Mike Green replied back to um, Bash Plug and he say, Yes, the green window is per. It will be a guaranteed make if you hit it. Heavily contested shots may still look like full whites misses, but that's if the artifact of the art. That's just the artifact of the art. There will always be a, a possibility sub pellet size green window on every shot attempt okay that's good i think that's a w i think that's a w i think the shot is, is i'm not gonna say it's going back to 2k19 shooting but he said yes bash plug asks the question he said does shot timer have a per green window in 2k24 like 2k19 if you had a certain rating plus jump shot and the timer is always right it means that it's always green. And he said, yes, the green light window is per. And it will always be a guaranteed make if you hit it, bro. Perfect. Perfect, bro. That's perfect. I, I sound like that one dude on uh, that Street Fighter. They be like, perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay. It say, it say you can dunk meter standing up. Like, I mean, a standing dunk, dunk meter. But it's very hard at the moment. 
So it says Mike Wings. Mike Wang says since no one acts, you can all you can also dunk meter standing on standing dunks in 2K24. But it's really hard to pull off at the moment. Work in process. Okay, hey, hey, hey. I don't want to hear none of that. I, I, what you say, Bass? 99 standing, 99 standing dunk. Hey, y'all better equal that out, man. Y'all better equal that out, bro, because I don't want to hear no work in process. Y'all trying to get it right. No, get it right, bro. Keep it hard. He, they said it's hard, though. They, they said it's hard, though. They said it's hard at the moment. Like, it's not easy. They, they testing the game. They probably tried it with the 99 dunk bands, and they tried to do it, and they, and they came back and said, yeah, we didn't test it. It's really hard for us to pull it off at the moment. Work in process. So, a standing dunk off the ground might not be an easy thing, bro. It might not be easy, bro. All right, he got another one where he say, your, it say, your opponents and teammates won't see your shot meter online in NBA 2K24. Huh? What do you mean by that, man? What do you mean by that? Your teammates, your your no, your your opponents and your teammates won't see your shot meter online. NBA 2K23. I guess that's cool. That's cool. So it's like if you shoot a three bands, I won't know if you if it's green or not, and I'm on your team. So if I get a if I shot if I shoot the ball and it go in, you won't know if it's green or not. Only I will. You see what I'm saying? I guess that's all right. I guess, I guess that's kind of like, I ain't gonna say realistic, but I guess that's kind of realistic. If if when we playing a game and there's nothing on top of my head when I shoot the ball, it's just my player. You just see me shooting it, and if I make it, of course, okay, he made it. It's green. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's valid. But my advice is to turn the shot meter off. Soon as you learn your shot timing, shot meter off increases your green light window to size by 20%. Hey, for y'all boys, I know I, I say this every year when 2K come out, bro. They it always been a, a, a higher green light window for the bar off. For y'all boys, man, who still shoot with y'all meter all on, bro. I feel bad for y'all boys, bro. I'm going to say going to be shooting better than me. <laughs> hey, if you know you play with somebody, bro, who still look at their meter, bro, <laughs> just know they ain't going to beat trans, dude. <laughs> if you could just think of people that you play with, bro, they still use their meter, bro, just know, like, yeah, trans going to be nippy, bro. Hey, now let's see what somebody else say. I, I, I love this right here. This right here caught my eye. This right here really caught my eye right here, man. Bruh, are green animations going to pop up every time when I green? Is it going to switch more consistently? Yes. You will get a shot celebration animation on every green made 15 outside of 15 feet. Thank you. Jesus, I wanted that back in the game, bro. I got tired. Of getting whites and they was just regular shots, bro. I put a green light animation on. It's been times I played ten games in a row, bro. Ten games in a row. It never seen a jump shot animation. I'm just getting greens. I ain't never seen my jump shot celebration come on. You feel me? I'm happy they brought that back in the game, bro. I'm happy they brought the Okay, somebody said somebody added Mike Wang and they say, has there been a buff? And paint defense. Tired of being put on a poster when I'm in good position for a swat. Respectfully. I know bands can relate to that. But I knew that nigga Ben was about to say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew that nigga Ben was about to say something, bro. <laughs> that nigga tired respectfully. They read that one more time out loud for the ones in the back for bands. Hold on. Somebody asked Mike Wang up at the 2K headquarters. Has there been a buff? And paint defense, he say, I'm sick and tired of being put in a poster when I'm playing good defense in position for a SWAT. Respectfully. Mike Wayne replied back to Bands and everybody in the chat and everybody in the back. Let me go back down. He say, a.k.a. two Bands, paint defense was a major focus. And was reported one of the biggest gameplay, the biggest improvements from our externals playtest sessions. 
I think we have a really good balance right now. Okay. We love to hear it. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm with all action, bro. I don't mess enough talk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Steve, that nigga talking about his last year's, he talking about his last year's stats. <laughs> that nigga said, I missed like 30, I fucking had 30 blocks on top of my stats, man. <laughs> that nigga talking about his last year's stat line. If that you go into the NBA, you talk about your 2K23, I mean 2013 stats. That nigga like, nigga, you know how many more shots I could have shot a nigga some pass me the morning. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right, both. Okay, now now we got some some dunk. Uh, this this is my biggest problem, dunking, bro. <laughs> now let me go back over here, bro. It say, are oh, you not know read these, bro? That the, the first thing I see was dunk meter. I'm e. I'm, I'm most definitely reading. It. He say for both layup and dunk meters, if you have a pretty open lane, the green light window is much bigger in 2K24, but it shrinks the faster and the heavier the traffic. And again, on Hall of Fame and competitive online, you have to green dunks to make them. Let's go! Let's go, bruh. Let's go, bruh. You have to. You have to, bruh. You have to green the dunk to make it, bruh. Thank you, Jesus, bruh. Thank you, Jesus, bruh. That's the end of the YouTube video. Say no! <laughs> Say da, say da, say da. Hey, he said all I need to hear, bro. Man, my opinion, bands, bro. Dunk stick was the worst thing, bro. At two K twenty three, bro. That was the most annoying thing. I'm so happy that they fixed that, bro. I'm so happy, bro. So happy, bro. So I think it's about the takeover. I want to hear more about the takeover. It say, please tell somebody. Somebody say, please tell me. It depends on the build. You can't just have access to all takeovers with stats and badges. That's crazy. Okay. I was thinking that. Was I not, Baz? Early in the video, play the, replay that. Replay that back. Early in the video, I was saying, bro, is they going to allow every build to get every takeover, bro? And it just boosts every stat? Like, what? how did that work? So, and, and Mike Wayne says, the rating boost, the rating boost you get with takeover selects just stacks on top of what you already have. If you have... A dog, if you have dog rebounding, man, dog rebounding ratings, for example, selecting defensive rebounding, take defensive rebounder take will make you a little bit less of a bum on the boards, but you will still be, would you still be, wait, what, <laughs> but you still kind of a bum, what, <laughs> what, okay, oh, hold on, hold on, let me read that, let me read that. No, no, because I, I don't really want to know. I really want to know what I'm going to pay my money for. So I really got to read and see what. Because he was getting, you know, you, all right, he was talking kind of crazy right there. Like, I thought he was kind of talking to me. You remember, that's why I was like, that's why I was getting kind of choppy with it. Like, what are, what are you trying to say? Like, I was reading. I was looking at the next word. The next word was bum. And I ain't no way a professional uh, uh, Mike Wang, a 2K, somebody at the headquarters just called me a bum. If I, if I choose defensive rebounding. He said, I'm going to be a bum, but I'm going to be a little bit less of a bum. But I'm still kind of a bum. So I got to reread this. Hold on. Let's see what he's saying. For all the bums out there, let's, let me let me get y'all right. Somebody asked, right? He said, let me calm, let me calm down because I'm kind of hyped because I heard what I need to hear already. That was about to be the end of the video because I heard all I need to hear. But that's just for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, please tell me it depends on the bill. Basically how it used to be, right, bands? Basically how if you picked a sharp shooter like a 80 a 88 three you pick more sharp than anything you get sharp take so i'm saying that's what he said hopefully it depends on the bill that you get the sharp take and you can't have just access to all the takeovers with the stats and the badges right he said that's crazy mike wayne replies back the rating boost you get with takeover selects just stacks on top of what you already have right it just stacks on what you already have. So it's kind of like boost. It's just boost. It's takeover, but it's just boost. Like when you go to the boost stand, you just buy boost. You see what I'm saying? Right? If you have a dog re if you have dog rebounding rating. So if you have a 90 rebounding rating, right? For example, you selected defensive rebounding. Basically, of course, you have a 90 rebounding. You're a dog at rebounding. And you selected defensive and rebounding. Take, right? 
will make you a little bit less of a bump on the boards. Basically, what he mean, if you have a 90 rebounding, right? You're a bump. I'm about to put this out there for y'all. By basically, right? If you have a, a 90 dribbling, I'm going to put it in a better standpoint. If you have a 90 dribbling, right? And you can't dribble, you're a bump, right? But if you get takeover, because you, you deserve it. You've been dribbling. You've been going crazy, right? But you're a bum, though. You know what I'm saying? But you, but you got takeover, so you deserved it. You, des you deserve this takeover. You got your takeover bar up. You deserve takeover, right? It kind of make you a little bit less of a bum. You see what I'm saying? But you're still kind of a bum because you couldn't dribble in the first place. <laughs> you know what I'm That's valid, bro. That's valid, chat. That's valid. So for shooting, I'm putting in the shooting aspect. If you can't shoot, you got a 90 shooting, right? You can't shoot. Takeover will not just make you shoot every shot how it used to. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to make you give you a better chance. It only give you a boost as if you went to the boost stand and just bought boots. You're still going to miss a shot. So it doesn't just help you make every shot. No, it just boosts it. That's all it does. That's valid. That's all I need. That's valid, bro. That's valid. So it don't make you OP. Sharp take don't make you OP no more. Play make a takeover don't make you just break everybody's ankles and, and go crazy no more. No. You know what I'm saying? It just give you a boost. That's all it do. It's a boost. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, somebody was asking, uh, what rating do you need to be consistent? This is, this is, this is a, a good, this is a good tweet right here from Mike Wayne. Like, this is what we need to hear. This is a good tweet. It depends on your skill and your shot IQ. Okay. That's, that's good. That's good, right, fans? That's good. For those asking, what rating you need to be a consistent shooter? It depends on your skill and your shot IQ. Some people will be deadly with a 75 three-pointer. Okay, that's valid. While others will while while others will go one for ten. Try out the build tester on 2KU. Okay, we don't care about on no 2KU, but okay, we he said all we need to say it right here, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all what I think about this, bro. For those who want to be consistent and who are consistent, it depends on your skill and your shot IQ. If you're well skilled, you have great shot IQ, you know when to take your shot. Some of us, not all of us, some of us will be very deadly, very deadly with a 75 three-pointers. While other uh, while others is this, this is what he's saying. While others will go 1 for 10 with a 75 three-point shot. Not all of us though. See what I'm saying? That's valid. Anyone asked a question regarding the shot timing. Very early, early, late, and very late. Is it still in the game? And is it applied the same way in 2K23? Thank you. I've been wanting to talk about this, bro. Bans, this, this, this is one of the things I want to talk about, bro. This is another problem for me. Okay, it said this is in this is a courtside report. It said, wait, this is in the courtside report. The option has changed to shot timing. Visual cue. So it's not called when we go, when we load up 2K24. And we go try to, let me go put on my early real quick in my shot timing. It's not called shot timing no more. The new setting we need to be looking for is called shot timing visual cue. It say now you can pick the point in the animation that you want ideal release instead. Perfectly said. Play this back. Early in the video, I literally said exactly what that does. Literally. I literally said instead of how very early early late and very late just changes that right it doesn't do that anymore i don't like 2k23 where it it like it just be very early or you the release point is very early or or it's early or late or very late on top of this, the fact that you got an eight plus shot time and then your jump shot super fast and you put on very late no it's not like that no more now it's off you can choose right you can choose which Point in the animation of your jump shot that you want the ideal release. That's perfect. So if you want the ball to release at a certain point in your jump shot, that's what that does. That's what that does. See what this is every shot greenable or will we still have four bars that just missed for the green window size? Is it purely rating defense contest that determines the size of the window? Okay, that's that's gonna be a hard. I, ain't, I mean, he he. I mean, it's his game, so it wouldn't be probably that hard for him to answer. But me thinking about that, that's a hard kind of like 
like you know you got to get props to the people making these games bro because that, that that's not easy but that, that like if somebody was to ask me that and i created the game that'll be a hard really like to 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 juggle but he said he answered this in previous tweets already but yes every shot that's not a hundred percent smothered is greenable okay okay that's good window size determined by tons of factors okay that's what I was saying. That's why I was saying like it'll be hard because it's so much that a shot contest and wide open and 15% and 10% and a 99-3 and a, a, a Hall of Fame dead eye is so much that can make that hard for you to hit or make it easy for you to hit based on ton of factors. That's what I was thinking. So defense, ratings, and badges. Exactly what I just said. I haven't even read the line yet. Exactly what I just said. Being the primary drivers, but don't worry. Contest shots are very hard to knock down on higher difficulties. Basically, as in Hall of Fame difficulty or online. That's what he's saying, harder difficulties. Online and Hall of Fame. I mean, playing my career, you playing on Hall of Fame in the park. That's competitive play. So, yeah, okay. Okay, and this is the new the animation that I was talking about early in the game, bro, with the um with the new the new size ups. Uh, another cool NBA uh, next gen edition for players. You can now equip triple triple threat and dribble em emos. Oh, that's fire, bro! Oh, that's fire, bro! So you telling me I'm about to I'm about to cook somebody and do a dribble emo with the hot sauce? Oh, it's on the flow. <laughs> it's on the flow. Let me let me let me just say this one more time. So it say you can equip triple threats and dance emos this year. Fire them off with D pad down. Oh, yeah, so if you don't think I'm about to hit somebody with a saucy move and hit them with the hot sauce, you're crazy. If you don't think I'm about to, if I don't think I'm about to, if you don't think I'm about to sauce somebody up and do the yeet, yeet, oh, yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. Man, that's going to be the end of the YouTube video, man. I'm ready. I'm excited for 2K24, bro. I really feel like 2K24 is really going to go crazy this year, bro. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I, I'm I'm liking what I'm hearing, bro. But you know they they always start the year off and say so many nice things, but in the game drop and it be. But I don't know. Like basing it off like everything that I've been seeing, bro. Like I think it's gonna be kind of valid. Long as I feel like every from my standpoint, a lot of people don't like 2K23 and 22 for other things. Everything that I have heard him say is the reason why I did not like the next gen 2Ks. I didn't like adrenaline bars. It don't work the same way. So now I can dribble as much as I want to, long as I don't get bumped. If I get bumped, okay, that's understandable. If I get bumped, if you don't bump me, if you don't put a body on me and try to come up and press me, then hey, that's cool. I can dribble as much as I want to. I don't lose no adrenaline bar. That was one of my biggest problems. Dunk stick. Now they make it. Now they got it to where it's either a green or a make. There is no such thing as a white dunk stick going in. No, it's either you green it or you don't. And I know a lot of people still like the dunk stick still just OP in general, even if people put on a 99 dunk. Well, now they are they're saying like the defense has been boosted a lot. That's like one of the main things that I heard that they was working on. Like that's one of the main things that me and Bands was just talking about. The defense has been upped way, 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 way more. So it's going to be a buff if you think that you're just going to be 99. I mean, and, and we haven't even seen the. That's another thing, too, Bans. We haven't seen the build system yet. Like, we don't know if people can still go a 99 dunk either, Bans. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if people can do that anymore. We don't know. Even if they do got an option to where they give people less attribute points, you know, people gonna want to spread it out. So they might not still have the same builder system. I heard 99s got uh, nerfed. I don't know, bro. But, you know, I'm ready, bro. We got to what? How many more days we got to next uh next month on the 8th, bro? We ain't got that many days, bro. Probably got like what? Like what? Like 20? Ain't like 25, 24? So, I'm excited for that, bro. This was a W video, man. I had fun making this video. Catch y'all boys in the next one, man. My diamonds look like they came with some party lights. Round with an